Hey guys, Bob Black, Bob on Bass. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today we got a really cool bass to look at. Ooh, look at that. It's the Pete Wentz signature. It's a Sterling by Music Man. Stick around. All right, guys. So, as usual, I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about any instrument that I review. Um, right off the bat, this is a nice looking bass. It's really cool. Let me tell you what I like about it. I like the the, the color. It's, it's black. It's you know it's it's nice and smooth. It's very shiny. Um, we got the gold adenized pick guard. This has a uh, Natoya body. Now, I'd never heard of that before, but they say it's kind of close to mahogany. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we got a maple, a, a roasted maple neck, and a fingerboard is also roasted maple. Uh, we've got black hardware. We've got the keys, our tuning keys are open, black. The bridge is black, a nice looking bridge. It's not one of those cheap looking sub bridges. It's really nice. Uh, nine and a half inch radius, 34 inch scale. It's got some kind of a synthetic nut. Um, yeah. Ah, and the cool thing about this is, this is a passive bass. Yeah. Only a volume and tone. No battery compartment in the back. And most of you know I'm a big fan of Stingrays. I'll tell you one thing I don't like about this bass. And it's a little over nine pounds, like nine, 9.2 9 to 9.5, somewhere in that range. Um, I prefer bass, basses not heavier than eight and a half pounds. But if the weight doesn't bother you, I'm going to tell you right now, this is an awesome instrument, especially at the price they ask for I know the retail and the list price and uh, are different, but what, what you can get this for is $650. It's a screaming bargain. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Oh, by the way, yeah. Although this has a, you know, a roasted maple neck, I can still see the, uh, the, the markers very clearly. Now, some of the uh, sterlings that early on that I picked up that had the roasted neck, they were, roasting was so dark you couldn't even see the, you know, you couldn't even see the dots or the markers, side markers, but this one you can see very clearly. And you've got this loon on the 12th fret with a red eye. It's supposed to be a little bit creepy, and certainly it is. Yeah. yeah Pete Wentz plays with a band called Fall Out Boy, which to my ears, is kind of a punkish rock band. I don't know, you may differ on that, but that's what I think they sound like. Anyway, uh, let's give this thing a listen. I'm going to put the tone all the way up, volume up. set up the strings are a little bit high for my liking but um we'll deal with it <laughs> now this bass can certainly be used in any kind of genre you know this i i could take this tonight and do a jazz gig on this thing yeah not just strictly punk rock or uh you know, metal or any of that. You can you can use this on anything, anything. Sounds like a stingray, and you know, we've only got a tone knob. Let's put it on a rhythm. Mm -hmm. 
like my $2,000 Stingray. And this one's, you know, 650 bucks. What a deal. Let's put on another rhythm. Let's try, uh, let's do something Latin. Bring the tone back a little bit more, almost all the way back. awesome it plays awesome and for six hundred and fifty dollars how can you beat that it's awesome man if, it, if this was a little lighter I would have to purchase this I would, ha I would have to the tone that it's usable in any for anything. I think it's a great bass. Anyway, guys, once again, anxious to hear your views on this. I do have a Patreon account if you feel like supporting my channel. Um, that's a wonderful thing. I do appreciate it. Uh, I thank Sid, uh, Sid Ackerbaum for helping me out. Um, I'm going to have some more of his videos coming up pretty soon. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me and... Uh, Hope that was helpful, and we'll see you again next time. Oh, please hit like and subscribe.